Prince Harry and his bride-to-be Meghan Markle visited Cardiff for the third public engagement today. Harry promised to take his 36-year-old fiancée on visits across the UK before their wedding in May. Meghan opted for black skinny jeans by the Welsh brand Hyatt Denim and told fans Harry is a feminist. She signed autographs, was given flowers, had her hand kissed, and even took part in a group hug. Meghan Markle passed her initiation with flying colours as she made her first visit to Wales yesterday. As she and Prince Harry continued their pre-wedding tour of the UK, the actress praised her husband-to-be, who is officially Prince Henry of Wales. Chatting to the crowds who had waited patiently in the cold outside Cardiff Castle, she was lauded by Jessica Phillips, 23, for her outspoken feminist views. Miss Markle, 36, replied, he Harry is a feminist too, so there's that. Freelance journalist Miss Phillips said afterwards, she was so lovely. I said it was really lovely to have a feminist in the royal family and she said Harry is a feminist too. The couple's day in the Welsh capital had not started too promisingly, however. Their 11.15M Great Western train from London Paddington was held up by a points failure at Ducat, arriving an hour late. As the couple shook dozens of outstretched hands, Harry, 33, said repeatedly sorry we're late, while Miss Markle said thank you for waiting. Their namesakes Meghan Taylor, 9, and Harry Smith, 6, presented them with a Welsh love spoon, an early wedding present from the people of Wales. Miss Markle, who will marry Harry on May 19, said, Oh my goodness, wow, it's beautiful, thank you very much. And Daly asked if she would hold her hand party in Cardiff. The beaming actress replied, I bet that would be a lot of fun before being led away by a clearly more wary Harry. While the prince declined to pose for selfies, his fiancée broke the normal rules of royal protocol, and even wrote in one schoolgirl's notebook. Members of the royal family do not normally give autographs. Caitlin Clark, 10, said, Hi Meghan can you sign my book? Miss Markle, was only too happy to oblige, but unfortunately spelled her fan's name with a K, writing Hi Caitlin and adding a heart and a smiley face. Caitlin, however, did not seem to mind I don't really care, she said. My heart is still racing I've never got a royal autograph before. This is going to make everyone jealous. Megan McCauley, 10, held up a notice saying my name is Megan too. It worked, as Miss Markle ran over after spotting it. Oh, your name's Megan? Can I call you Meg? She asked. Inside the castle the couple enjoyed performances of Welsh poetry and music before heading to the city's Tremorfa area, where they visited children at the Star Hub Sports Centre. As the youngsters crowded round, Harry told them, everyone give Meghan a group hug. Oh thank you, said Meghan as she hugged the children back. Harry, who joined in, could be heard to say, and release, she's mine. The couple chatted with children and played table tennis. Miss Markle also played Jenga, which involves balancing wooden blocks on top of each other, with Kevin Chidwai, 12. She said, I love this game you need so much patience for it. The royal couple returned to London at the end of the day, on a train that, fortunately for them, left on time. Meghan has been given her first dedicated member of staff at Kensington Palace, a new female assistant private secretary. She is now being supported by blonde Amy Pickrell, who used to work for Royal Bank of Scotland, the Mail can reveal.
Miss Picarill was, until December, a member of the Kensington Palace press team. But she has now been sequestered by Prince Harry to work as an assistant private secretary, based in his private office. Sources said she would be supporting Meghan on engagements and with her official, 